This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Suzanne Rintoul with me. You are the Executive Direc Director of PEP Seniors Therapeutic Center. Two locations, Perth and Smith Falls, is that right? That is right, Kathy, yes. All Thank right. you for having me today. Now you are a return guest. You've been here before, but it's been a long time, so we need a refresher. What's going on? At, at, let's talk about what, what is PEP first. So PEP is a day program that was started in 2014 by Dr. Van Oppen and myself. And um, when we, when I, Bob and I were both new to Perth and we just recognized that there was a much larger population of seniors than the areas that we had come from. Um, and we just thought, you know, there was so much need for a day program for people. And Bob said, well, if we're gonna create a day program, Suzanne, then let's make it a program where people will uh, actually be strengthened while they're here. So we offer them the physical therapy and the cognitive stimulation and the much needed socialization during the day. Um, and they come from uh, 9.30 until three and we're open five days a week in Perth and three days in Smith Falls. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what, what goes on when people arrive there and spend the day there. So um, they look forward to coming. First of all, I must say they, uh, you know, asking you know when when's my next day to go to pep and then those that are drive themselves they say you know they book all their appointments around coming to pep as well um and they arrive about 9 30 in the morning well they actually get here earlier than that and we just have to say hang on guys because they're just chomping at the bit to get in and they'd like to um you know just get acquainted with their friends that they make because they all come on the same day every week have their coffee together and then we get into the cognitive stimulation piece with them as well as do an hour of chair exercises and they enjoy lunch together. We get out for a walk and then we do more cognitive or play a game or do a craft in the afternoon. So um, it's it's a full day. Everybody's tired. Everybody says, well, I don't think I can do that. I'm not used to spending a full day here. But honestly, once they get here, it's because there's so much going on, right, that they, they don't feel like having their afternoon nap, whereas if they were at home, they would probably have a nap in the afternoon. But this is so much better for them to be getting out and socializing with other seniors. And this helps so in so many ways. It helps the, the seniors that come there. I mean, it, it's helping keep them out of, you know, maybe a, a different type of care situation, long-term care or, or needing care in their homes. And it gives the people that are caregivers or the family a little bit of respite, a little bit of time to themselves as well. Yeah, it does. Um, we, we tend to be getting a little bit away from the respite need. I find there's more and more people that are using it as a preventative care program. So just seniors that don't have the same things going on in their lives that they used to, you know, they and it may be due to COVID that um, there's different, I don't know, they're just their social circle gets smaller, right? And um, probably less events that they would normally attend available to them. So this is their social outing for the week. And then we try to like add in other things like have a social evening for them once a month too. And then for those caregivers that are still part of the program, we have a once a month meeting with caregivers on, on the third Friday of the month too, to give them an opportunity to kind of get together with other people in the same circumstances that they're in and support them. You, you seem to have a lot of uh, a, a lot of learning series, a lot of training series. And now, is that for the people that attend, or is that for for the general public? Is it for family? How does that work? Okay, so the learning series. Uh, we recently had um, Andrea Pickett. She's right. our physiotherapist oh. that's on staff. She talked about falls prevention and the importance of having the mobility mobility aids uh, fitted for you correctly. Um, we had Becky Bellamy, she's the local pharmacist in Perth and she also sent Sun Memory Clinic with myself. She talked about over the counter medications, the risks and benefits of those and the importance of talking to your pharmacist before you actually just go ahead and take something off the counter. And then we also had Janice Steele from Lanark County Paramedic provide us with, with information on their community program, which is a lot of information that not a lot of people know about. So it was great to have her. Um, coming up, we have a, a police officer going to talk to us about cybersecurity and um, scams, that sort of thing, just alerting us of what's out there. We have um, Elizabeth Boyle, or sorry, Isabel Boyle, and she's going to chat with us about uh, advanced care planning. And then at the very end, the last session is Dr. Neil Kuchinad. Dr. Kuchinad is a colleague of mine. He and I and um, 
Becky Bellamy sit on the Mint Memory Clinic. He's the physician, I'm the nurse, Becky's the pharmacist. And then we have Robin Hall from the Alzheimer's Society also on the team. And he is going to present on the importance of social prescribing. Have you heard of that? No, I haven't. I, I'm interested in that. What is that? So that's just, they, we've realized over time, uh, and I think the pandemic emphasized the how important it is to get out and to be social and what things can happen as a result of being isolated. And they've actually said that being isolated can be as equivalent as far as detrimental to your health as smoking. So, you know, you may get depressed, you may um, be at bigger risk for falls if you're not getting out and doing, you know, uh, programs like ourselves. So he's going to talk to anybody that wants to come about the importance of the doctors and your nurse practitioners actually prescribing socialization for your patients in order to have better health outcomes. And that's a wonderful, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing because COVID did isolated so many people because you had to. And it just became, because we did it for three years, it, it's, it became a norm. Yeah, yeah. And I think, like, yeah, like you said, it really emphasized yeah. um, the importance of staying social, right? Because so many, there was so much fallout for it. So that's, I'm looking forward to his presentation. And he actually has some local government that's interested in attending as well. So I'm glad that the local governments are also um, you know, there's not a lot of long-term care beds. So if we can help to keep seniors in their own home, yes. um, everybody's happy, right? It's a win-win. So. That's right. That's right. Now, I, I've got it written down another one, Brain and Body Boost. Yeah. So we've been running Brain and Body Boost now for three. In fact, I think it's in its fourth session now in Smith Falls on Tuesdays at 9.30. And um, for anybody else that would like to come, it's... Um, an hour of cognitive stimulation slash social time so we you know play some fun challenging games um, with people that are not really noticing anything cognitively but they want to use it as a preventative program and then they also do an hour of exercise as well so uh, we're going to offer that again um, we're going to keep offering it as long as there's interest in Smith Falls they're six week sessions and it's $75 for the six weeks and we give them um a continental breakfast with that too during the social time and then we're going to run it in perth on tuesdays at 9 30 to 11 30. thank you very much for joining us the executive director oh. of pep seniors therapeutic center suzanne rantoul thank you for everything you do suzanne